want to improve your English language proficiency? Do you want to be a, a competent English speaker? Uh, please, if the answers to these questions are yes, then this video is for you. Looking at me, it is so obvious that I am not a native English language speaker, that I learned the ability to speak and to speak effectively and clearly. And there are secrets that I've revealed in other videos that I've shot on this channel that I'm going to really employ you to check. So today, I have a very, very interesting topic to really discuss with us. But before I go into this topic, please look at this book. I've published about six books. Uh, this is my picture here. So English language is not rocket science. So the point is this. If I can master it, if I can be good at this uh, language, definitely my viewers should be able to do better. So today's topic is 15 plus English phrases, spoken English connection, easy English. It is easy English. I'm going to make it very easy for everyone watching me this moment to have this conviction in themselves that yes, they can also improve their proficiency in English language. But the first thing is this. What is a phrase? A, a phrase is just a combination of words without any logical sense. Okay, any aggregation of words that lack what a finite verb is referred to as phrase. But what I have done is to go beyond phrases and to add some words in order to convert phrases into sentence in this video. So I have them explicitly explained on the board. Please come along while I take you on this wonderful intellectual journey. So the first one is, uh, why not? Why not is a phrase. But I've converted it into a sentence. Okay, would you like to visit the man? Would you like to visit the man in the hospital? Why not? That is, why not? Then the second one is, what time? Okay, what time? I asked him, what time does he want me to come? I asked the principal, what he actually called me, I asked the principal, what time does he want me to visit him in the office? Then the third one is, so what? So what is a phrase? So he said he traveled to Canada last year, and so what? Okay, what about it? Is it, or is she the first person to have traveled? Then the next one is, Last but not least, last but not least has to do with the fact that when an individual is talking or whenever you're writing and you're approaching to the, the end of whatever talk you're delivering or whatever essay you're writing, so you can use this, that last but not least, that I would like to advise that in all your existential kind of journeys, always be grateful. Then look at where I've used it here. Uh, last but not least, the last but not least be grateful always that last but not least whatever situation that you find yourself always be grateful then the next one is uh, please let me be please let me be please let me be okay please let me be i am not the only person here Please, why are you disturbing me? Please let me be. I'm not the only person here. Then the sixth one is. You can see this. Yes. Please let me be. Then my pleasure. Then, uh, thanks for the other day. My pleasure. Okay. Thank you for your kind gesture. My pleasure. Then finally on this uh, whiteboard he always stay in touch whenever he travels and i've observed my brother then my younger brother always stays in touch whenever he travels then let's go to the next whiteboard yes fine the next one is, the lady told her debtor that she will get her debt now or never. Okay, the phrase is now or never, but I've converted it into, I've added it into a sentence to make it logical. So that the lady told her debtor that it is, that she's going to actually collect her money back. It is now or never. Then the next one is, what do you think about the, okay, the Russia and Ukraine war? Think about, okay, what do you think about the current Ukraine and Russian war? 
What do you think about the falling or the inflation, the global inflation that is going or going on globally or around the world? Then the next one is okay. His writing was clear. Okay, his writing was clear. Then he asked me if his writing was a clear that the principal or the lecturer asked his students if what he, what he was writing on the whiteboard was actually a clear so that he could maybe change the the size or the sizes of the uh, the, the the fonts it is then the next one is a story okay okay reach you reach you is the phrase here then look at how i've used it in a sentence a story how can i reach you after the conference that i met a very intelligent individual in one of the conferences that i attended then i approached the scholar and i asked him or her how can i reach him or how can i reach her then could you okay could you explain could you explain is the phrase then could you explain the concept again please uh, that the the guest speaker okay at the conference had to actually approach the guest speaker to ask him uh, to kindly shed more light or to kindly explain then the friend is none of his business my mother uh, told him that it is none of his business my bro my mother told my brother that it is none of his business that whatever she spends her money on is none of his business then sooner or later is the phrase there but look at how i've used it in a sentence that uh, sooner or later you will appreciate all i have been telling you i discovered that you are not happy that i've been giving you pieces of advice but sooner okay or later you will get to understand that i think i appreciate you and i want the best for you and that is why i've been giving you all these pieces of advice throughout these years then the sooner you leave the better for us sooner you leave okay the sooner you leave nigeria the better for us the sooner you leave this country to seek for greener pastors out there the better for the entire family then finally by the way by the way is the phrase then who does he think he is okay by the way okay who does the commissioner think he is by the way who does he think i am so these are uh, phrases that i have converted into what into simple sentences into simple clauses just for my viewers to be able to really understand the themes in each of the sentences and to be able to really form okay simple sentences themselves uh, thank you very much please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and i look forward uh, to seeing you in the next video